I'm Catherine Anaya and welcome to MHGTV. In this episode of My Interiors, we are talking about consignment shopping. I'm taking you inside Avery Lane Find Consignment to talk all about what you need to know on how to begin and what you need to look for to find the best value for your dollar. So it's a quirky place. It's kind of a treasure trove. Forget everything you think you might know about consignment shopping. At Avery Lane Fine Consignment in Scottsdale, Arizona, everything from furniture to artwork and accessories is considered high end. I like to say this ain't your grandma's consignment store because we focus on a whole different type of furniture and accessories. So we work with the CEOs, the PGA players, the NHL players, the baseball players, and just some very obviously successful people. When they're getting ready to decorate, redecorate, or move, they have beautiful things that they've collected from all over the world. So it's really great things. In the eight years since Darlene first opened Avery Lane in the Scottsdale Air Park, several consignment shops have popped up in the area, with each offering its own unique personality and style. And I tell clients, go see them all and look at them all and you'll start knowing which one is kind of, you know, your look and your style. At Avery Lane, Darlene says you don't have to shop for value. The thing, the thing is, is the value is there. Our prices are typically 50% of the retail. So we'll have name brand, restoration hardware, Cry's, Marge Carson, it would be 50% of what the original owners would have paid. Which means you have to approach consignment shopping prepared and ready to buy on the spot. Go through your house and get your measurements. Make sure you know how big something is because if you fall in love with something and you think you're gonna come back a day later or two days later, it's not gonna be there. And a lot of times we have clients that'll come in with a, you know, a pillow in tow or strangely, strangely enough, a piece of tile or a piece of wood flooring because they wanna make sure things match. At Avery Lane, all sales are final. So you need to look at it very closely, turn it around, look at the back, open the drawers, all of that stuff before you purchase. Darlene says they try to make it as easy as possible for you to know the value of what you're buying. Um, we, we go through and do the research. We will have on our tags what that piece was for retail. And you know, in, right now in the days of the internet, you can look up anything and you can find if that price is really a good value. If you're looking to consign something. So we're looking for obviously the higher end brands. We don't take things from any homes that are smoking homes or cat homes. So they have to be smoke free, cat free. And then what you want to do is really go through and you know, put that just like if you were listing your house, you know how you, you paint the rooms to make it look better. With your furniture, you want to do the same thing. Get it steam cleaned go through and polish it up, you know, get one of those little furniture pens and do all that so it looks the best possible. We do a lot of that when we receive it, but it's great if you do it on the front end to make your pieces look really special. And there's an art, she says, to determining what she accepts. I don't want my whole house, to, my whole showroom to look like, um, you know, restoration hardware or Ladlow's. I want to have a diversity in there. So I'm always looking for really unique, one-of-a-kind pieces. Uh, the style that I say Avery Lane represents is what we call a Paris, Paris apartment. It looks very eclectic and very discovered and you know, things that you got from your trips. So I'm looking for things that might be antiques but are very unique, things from mid-century that are fun and quirky and fit into that modern style that's so popular right now. And I'm also looking for beautiful Tuscany pieces because we still have so many houses in that Tuscany architecture. So there's a nuance of making sure I have a little bit of everything. Often the price point is determined by how popular the style is at the moment. At Avery Lane, um, we basically price things about 50 to 60% of that original retail price if they were um, purchased in the last five years. Because all consignment shops are not the same, Darlene says it's very important to know the payout when choosing your consignment partner. We feel like you have more into the deal for the first 30 days. It's, you, you brought the furniture here and it's your piece. So we pay you more for those first 30 days. We pay you 60% after those first 30 days, then it's a 50-50 split. Are there trends in consignment that you see? Well, you know, it's kind of like what was the, you know, how everybody was decorating their house two or three years ago is kind of what people are maybe, you know, transitioning out of and wanting to consign. Um, certain color schemes, certain styles, obviously here in the Valley, Tuscany was very popular. I will take 
specific um, uh, Tuscany pieces. I don't want a whole household full of it. I still love it, but you gotta mix it with contemporary pieces. So we're just like maybe two or three years off of what is current. Being in the consignment business nearly a decade, Darlene says she's been most surprised by art. His clients and people spend a lot of money collecting art and then they move to a different state or they're downsizing and the art galleries don't take it back. So that has been a big surprise and really actually been a great thing for our clients because they can buy this phenomenal original art for a fraction of the original cost. And lighting. So many people, that's the first thing they do when they buy a house. They're gonna change it up and take the lights out and bring their whole new look in. And so we always have fantastic lighting here at Everly. We just got a beautiful kind of Chihuly-like blue chandelier that took about four hours to install. We always have great French antique with lots of bling bling. So we always have great chandeliers. Darlene says there are so many great consignment shops to choose from, so definitely be willing to invest your time and check them all out. By the way, you can subscribe to MHGTV at MHGTV.com. Thanks for watching MHGTV. I'm Catherine Anaya. I'll see you next time.